think it's about time that we head back to the movie universe. So, here's Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Voyager Class Bludgeon. Now, Bludgeon was a character that came out in the little subline of Revenge of the Fallen called Nest, which was the strike force in Revenge of the Fallen that kind of carried over into Dark of the Moon, but it was also a tagline so that way they could sell more toys in the future. It has figures like Brawn, Mindwipe, Lockdown, and this guy. Now, when I first got this toy, I actually didn't know much about him other than that he looked really cool, but it was actually a character in the comics that did a lot of evil stuff. And while they haven't gotten the face 100% right they did a pretty good job on everything else like the chest the colors the way that he looks like a big samurai not to mention this gigantic sword that he can totally dual wield or safely store it away right there on his side or you can store it right there for vehicle mode but if you come around here to the back part you can open this part up and there's another little knife right here don't even try to tell me that this isn't cool. This is amazing. It's one of the best uses of that mech alive thing that in this entire line. Then, you know, multiple figures that have this m internal moving piston thingamabob. So overall, I have to say that Bludgeon is a pretty rad figure. Looks good, poses good, and can slice things up faster than you can say, oh my god. Now, what do you say we take a look at that vehicle mode? And here we have the tank mode. And yes... It looks great. Bummer thing is, though, is that the main sword gun up here on the front and this little tiny gun up here is made of a soft rubbery plastic, so they're kind of bent out of shape, which kind of sucks. But I guess you could fix it with some hot water, so... Other than that, it looks great. I mean, like, you got the nice treads down here on the front. You got the nice tanky proportions. Awesome spinning turret up here. And even this gun can rotate 360 degrees. How awesome is that? Hmm, wonder what faction he's with. So yes, Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon is a great figure with little to no faults that I can personally see. And if you find one other than this stupid plastic up here, keep it to yourself. I, I love this thing. Alright, there goes Revenge of the Fallen. The next movie review will obviously be Dark of the Moon. And you all know who I am, and remember, don't grow up, be nerdy, not boring. Catch y'all later.